So after he ate those two hot dogs, he went to the hot dog eating contest and actually won the contest and ate 12 more. So it was quite amazing. Probably don't want to sit next to him, but he was just <laughs> pumping them in. And when we were done, it's like, hey, did I win? I said, yeah, you ate more than those three guys together over there. Well, but, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the 48 Now Desk. I'm digital host, AJ Weeks, and we have a certain special treat for you all today. Today, I am joined with Tasty's owner, Steve Middlebrooks, and of course, Next Step Farms over owner, Robin Kramer. Thank you so much for joining in with me today. It's good to be here. Glad to be here, AJ. On uh, June 22nd, the second annual hot dog eating competition is coming to Monrovia Community Center. And of course, it is presented by Tasty's and Next Step Farms. Mm -hmm. uh, first, can you talk a little bit about this event and really how it came to be? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I met Robin a few years ago and what this lady doing what this lady is doing is wonderful. Uh, and I said to myself, I have to get involved with this and be a part of it and help out some way. And then the idea came to me that Huntsville does not have a hot dog eating contest. One of the things I sell is hot dogs, so let's do it. Uh, the first hot dog eating contest was last year. It was mm -hmm. a big success. We raised a lot of money for Next Step Farms. Had a lot of fun, and this year should be uh, the same. Great. Okay, awesome. And Robin, can you talk about Next Step Farms a little bit and uh, where the money for this event is going? Oh, absolutely. Next Step Farms is an adult special needs day program, and we are teaching adults who live with special needs how to live as independently as possible using a small farm theme. Everything you do from growing a garden, raising a garden, to chickens and goats and dogs and pigs and a duck and a goose um, and an orchard, they're learning to do and they're learning to cook and they're learning to preserve those things. So we have homemade pickles and we have jams and jellies that are out of this world and um, it's so wonderful to see the community want to come together to do something. Um, the image, the vision of Next Step Farms doesn't work if I take my clients and we hide away on property in Smith Vassar Road. It only works when the community comes in and we go out into the community and we embrace each other to give each other value, to give each other purpose. And Tasties and All Things Covered have done that for us. Um, they're just one of our several community partners who are significant in making a difference in the lives of a forgotten population. That is so awesome. I love to hear that. That is that's incredible. About Tasties as well. Sure. Yes, Tasties is our own brand. Uh, we opened up a couple of years ago. We now have three locations. Two of them are on the arsenal, and we sell subs and hot dogs. Mm -hmm. And uh, good food, good price, good service, uh, recipes for success. And we've been really blessed. That is awesome. You asked me a minute ago what the money this year is going towards. Uh -huh. Last year, the money that was raised went towards helping to fray some of the extra cost for our storm shelter. We are in harvest. Storm shelters are needed. Right. So that actually we have completed. It was completed all of it this week. Mm -hmm. The money this year, our animals are increased on the farm, and they always need feed. So the money raised this year will go back towards feed for the animals. With that in mind, Tasty's as a community partner we come by every week and pick up um, tomato scraps and some lettuce. Instead of throwing it away, we take it out to our animals and feed them every day. So it's continuing the theme, but in a different manner. Absolutely. Yeah, very cool. So uh, when you guys did the event last year, what, was, what would you say y'all's favorite part of the entire experience was? Whether it's the community aspect, whether it's um, watching these people eat all these hot dogs, what was your favorite part? For me, it was the community aspect. At one point in time, I looked around and all you could see was a sea of people. Wow. Um, just people coming together. When you looked around, you saw different, um, different walks of life. You saw different um, political figures involved. Um, you saw, it was just wonderful. And there was no barrier, it was joy just complete joy around the whole place. And let me tell you, it was hot that day. So for people to be enjoying themselves and maintaining and staying, just spoke volumes, just spoke volumes. We all need each other. That's right, 100%. The excitement of the entire event is my favorite part. The beginning of it, during the event, and at the end when we get to present a check to Next Step Farms, 
we have seen uh, an idea come to fruition and, uh, and make it happen through the community. And uh, we have a lot of fun doing it. And mm -hmm. you can see smiles on faces, and uh, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Cool. So from what I understand, it's the Montrovia Fire Department versus the Madison County Sheriff's mm -hmm. Office. Yep. Yes. Uh, how did they get involved? Well, we, uh, we thought about the hot dog eating contest, and we do have some of the sheriff deputies in the Monrovia Fire Department come into Tasty's mm -hmm. right on Jeff Road. And one of the firefighters said, well, how, why don't you pit us against the deputies? And so we did, and uh, the deputies now are sporting the plaque at their office and we have another plaque this year for the winter. Very cool. And can y'all speak about this trophy a little bit? This is such an awesome trophy that we have right here. That's that's the biggest and most expensive trophy we could find that has a hot dog on it. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Jeff Matthews and All Things Covered, uh, we're going to give this trophy away to the winner of the contest this year. In uh, five minutes, how many hot dogs can you eat? That's right. How many are you expecting the winner to eat this year? I know the winner ate 12 last year. I think that will be surpassed this year because a good friend and customer of ours uh, wanted the trophy, and I think he's after that 12 number. I think he's going for 15 or more. He's been training. He's been training. <laughs> He's been training. He's won several contests before, eating contests, so I think that's got his name on it. Wow. All right. I, I just feel, I don't feel worthy of being in this trophy's presence right now. That's such an awesome trophy. Right I here. think you should plan to compete. I think so, too. There's very few things I'm yes. more passionate about than, than hot dogs. I definitely love me a good tube steak. That is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't know. I, I might have to do it. I might have to try. I so if to. I did want to compete, how would I go about doing that? So uh, you can come in and pay the day of the contest. It's $5 to enter the contest. It's $2 to enter the, the grounds for all the festivities and free hot dogs, free popcorn, that type of thing. But uh, we closed the event at 30 contestants. That's how many we had last year. So if you want to get an early registration, you can email us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is that email? The email is tastiesllc at gmail.com. And that's spelled T-A-S-T-E-E-S-L-L-C at gmail.com. Yep. Awesome. Perfect. It sounds like a plan. That is awesome. Well, I believe that is all the questions I have for you all, but I want to thank you so much for coming in today and talking about this hot dog eating contest. Um, if there's something that maybe I didn't ask that you want to add, uh, feel free. But, yeah, once again, thank you so much. Just come join us. It'll be fun. If, if you'd like to get involved with the event this year, email us, whether you're a vendor or sponsor or yes. contestant uh, or just have a question about something, uh, feel free to email or call or come by. Awesome. Well, come on out to the hot dog eating competition at Monrovia Community Center on June 22nd. You are not going to want to miss it. It sounds like an awesome time. And I don't know, you might want to get one of these bad boys. But anyway, thank you so much. Thank you. Now I am joined with Jeff Matthews. He is the chef, the hot dog chef, that will be at the hot dog eating competition on June 22nd. Jeff, thank you so much for joining in with me. Yeah, thank you, thank you. First, I got to shout out this awesome trophy that is right here. Uh, can you talk a little bit about this trophy? Uh, you know, the things you find online is, uh, is pretty <laughs> surprising. Just look up hot dog trophy and nobody's got this. This, this came out of uh, somewhere up, up north. Uh, we bought one last year, two came in. We're gonna put the, and we've got some plaques as well, but it's, it's a soft bun hot dog trophy for hot dog eating contest. And it, it feels real. I'm not going to lie. That feels really, that is awesome. So um, talk about like creating these hot dogs, like cooking them. What is your process of creating that perfect hot dog? Uh, I've been cooking for many years. Uh, I cook best when I'm under pressure. Uh, last year, Steve brought eight, 900 hot dogs. Says, hey, cook these the night before. I just said, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to put this on. We have a big smoker grill. And which normally takes a little longer. 
So we uh, put, put them in pans, smoked them, had them all over the grill. Turned out really good. This year, we've stepped the game up, man. I've got a four foot by five foot grill. It's actually gonna be a grilled hot dog. Uh, we're gonna do 900. And I'm gonna put all 900 on the grill at the same time. Give them quarter rolls. Uh, they're gonna turn out fantastic. The hot dog eating contest, where people just come and they're on the they're on the trays, and it's just how many how many can you eat in five minutes? Pretty impressive. That is crazy. Have you ever tried to see how many you could eat? In five uh, minutes? When I'm growing up, I'm one of seven kids. So when mom and dad put food out, you try to eat as fast as you can. So I've actually prepared myself for this. <laughs> so uh, no, I three three maybe four, but I like you know mayonnaise or, or actually mustard relish. Uh, chili, cheese. I, I don't eat a couple of those. I eat at Tasty's every week uh, since I met, met Steve years ago and usually bring a couple of guys with me. Now, two is my max because I like to load them down. So. <laughs> That's right. You, you like the fully loaded hot dog. I understand 100%. Uh, what is your favorite thing on the Tasty's menu? Uh, I, I, a number three club or a number seven. It, it's, it's like the number three. It's like a club times two times three. Uh, you can go big and then go home, right? <laughs> uh, one of my favorites is I'll get two chili cheese dogs with jalapenos. And I do that every week with some jalapeno chips. And the biggest part for me is going to the Tasties is the people. Uh -huh. They're, they're per so personable. Uh, when I first met Steve, he'd wear these crazy shirts, and it was just going in to see what, what, what this guy's going to wear today. And he'd come over and sit down at the table with you and just make it. It's like family. And when you go in there, it's, it's, it's in the Monrovia community. You pretty much know everybody in there, from the school teachers to a firefighter or a sheriff deputy. So, you know, you end up knowing a little bit of everybody that you're in there. It's, it's more like a, like, a, like a hometown type stop, you know. Uh, it, it's, it's a good break in the day, get a free refill, going back to work. So it's good stuff. When you were saying the number seven, Robin in the back here was saying, yes, the seven is her go-to. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, good food, good people, uh -huh. good times. I have that actually printed on the back of a shirt that I'm going to wear uh, uh, during the hot dog contest. Uh, last year was big. It was big. We had a lot of people. It was outside. This year it's inside. Uh, weather's not going to affect us. It's air conditioned. Uh, thanks, Phil Vandiver. Uh, th that's going to turn out really, really nice. I'm cooking the hot dogs outside, of course. Uh, we'll have plenty, plenty of food, five bucks to enter, uh, the hot dog eating contest. It's funny, the gentleman that won last year, and I hope you're watching, uh, came to get a hot dog. And he's got one or two hot dogs and says, man, I may get another. And I said, well, there's actually a hot dog eating contest going on. He said, okay. So after he ate those two hot dogs, he went to the hot dog eating contest and actually won the contest and ate 12 more. So it was quite amazing. Probably don't want to sit next to him, but he was just <laughs> pumping them in. And when we were done, it's like, hey, did I win? I said, yeah, you ate more than those three guys together over there. But, but he wasn't a firefighter, and he wasn't a sheriff's deputy. He was uh, just one of the guys going for, for the win. Mm -hmm. And uh, he won, 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 won the contest, excited, and then took him a few hot dogs to go. So... It was that good is, stuff, man. That is it was awesome. good stuff. That is a hilarious story. I don't, I don't know how he does that. How he can eat two hot dogs and then go into the contest, eat twelve more. It's, that's it. You got to get prepped up for that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I, he didn't dip it in anything. He just started eating hot dogs, drinking some water. Wow. It, it was it was good stuff. He's twice our size, but hey, he did it. He he prepped himself to get to this. So I thought it turned out pretty good. What a nice guy. It was good stuff. That is awesome. So do most people at the event, do they dip it in something, like rip it apart? Like Joey I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen that last year where a couple of the guys pulled the, the hot dog out, dipped the bun, ate the bun, ate the hot dog. <laughs> I, it's just too much. It's just too, too much. Uh, pretty neat to see them kind of pace themselves and things like that. Uh, I've never been at a hot dog eating contest before. Uh, you, want, you might want to stand back a little bit, but you're amazed. Think about it. You can eat two or three hot dogs. Uh-huh. But seven or eight, nine, ten, good on up to twelve. Yeah, you're done, right? Yeah, that's pushing yeah, it. Yeah, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Then I can't imagine like eating like sixty or seventy, like some people. I don't know. Some of these competitions do. But, no. Uh, finally, Jeff, uh, my last question is: What is your favorite part of the event? Whether it's the cooking the hot dog, the community aspect of it. What, what, 
is your favorite overall? I, I guess my favorite that when I show up, um, it's community mm -hmm. and everyone comes together for that cause. Uh, uh, Next Step Farms uh, is, a, is an opportunity for people to, to, to give back to the community a little bit, meet and greet and get to know some of the folks. Uh, that, that's, re that's really, really big, but to me, it's, it's just more about the community coming together. Because even though you may not know everyone there, after you leave from that, that memory and that time that you spent there, it's always going to be on your mind. And if you're in town and you see someone, hey, I remember you from uh, the hot dog eating contest and, or the Next Step Farms booth. Uh, it, it's amazing. It's a good time, and I hope everybody can come out to that. So.